Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're going to take a look at a brand new 2021 Forest River Cedar Creek Silverback 31 IK couples fifth wheel. This is a triple slide out rear living room fifth wheel with a ton of upgrades on it. I want to take a few minutes, walk you around the inside, then we'll come back to the outside and then we'll close her all up and show you what this beautiful RV looks like. All right, guys, we're now up inside this brand new Cedar Creek Silverback 31 IK fifth wheel. Again, rear living room model, couples, coach, triple slide. We're going to start here in the back section and then work our way around. Now, across the back here, you can see nice big windows. And even in the slide out section itself, nice big windows overlooking the campsite area there. The sofa in the back does fold out. It's a height of bed sofa, so it will make into a bed, even though this is a couple's coach. It will flip out, so you can sleep some guests back here. Pretty good amount of overhead cabinet space above the windows as well. The windows have a pull-down roller shade on them, a blackout shade basically, to kind of give you more privacy. The windows are also a deep tent safety glass window, frameless you'll see when we get out there again. Um, so it does have a nice tint to it, so it doesn't give you that fishbowl effect like clear glass does. 110 volt ceiling fan instead of a 12 volt version, so a nice little setup up there. And the unit has ducted air conditioning on it, and this is the better whisper quiet AC system, so you don't see the big square in the roof. So it's going to be a lot quieter back here when you're trying to sit down and watch this nice big flat screen TV in your reclining theater seat. Electric fireplace down below, so you push a button there, it fires it up. You can just turn on the lights, or you can turn on the heater part of it as well. Just basically a fancy space heater, but pretty cool setup. Indoor-outdoor speakers, AM, FM radio there. Again, another nice flat screen TV setup here with some overhead cabinets. The theater seat is directly across from your... TV here so you can kick back recline back and relax without having to turn your head necessarily and another thing uh, that I kind of like too, I keep forgetting to mention a lot of times about this sofa but this is a pretty long sofa so you can actually lay down here and watch TV where some of these guys just have a little two-seat sofa and it's really hard to lay down and relax on there electric outlet down there on that side and back to the theater seat here you got cup holders in it along with its power and USB charger ports as well. Freestanding table with four chairs. There are two traditional RV chairs that you see, which do have some storage in them. And then there's two fold-up chairs, which are stored underneath the bed right now. The tabletop does have an extension on it, so you can uh, open that up, give you a little more elbow room there. And down below, the table is also an electric outlet on that wall right there. To the left of the window there in that slide, there's a couple light switches there. But just below that is the awning controls for that secondary optional awning out there. So that is where your in and out button along with your settings button is for that awning. Pretty good sized island here, a little bit of counter space on both sides of the island with the nice hard matching sink covers, high rise spring faucet as well. Uh, just under mount, nice setups there for your sink area. The really large insignia oven, it's a 3.73 cubic foot oven. It's the biggest oven currently offered in an RV without going to a true residential style. But this thing is pretty nice. You'll find that in some small apartments and stuff as well. Um, storage and drawers on both sides of the cabinet area there, or the oven area there. It's a four burner gas cooktop as well, where more traditional RV ovens are only three. Large microwave along with some more shelf and cabinet space on both sides there. Big residential refrigerator does have some storage up above and you have a couple pull-out freezer drawers below with an ice maker also built in. 
a really nice big residential fridge. So if you are extended staying or full timing type of customer, it's really nice to have those big refrigerators so you don't have to run to the store all the time. But if you're weekend camping, the smaller ones do well too. Pantry area there on the left, it's probably about six inches deep, but a pretty good amount of space there for your cooking or for your food items. Some more storage down below, little area right there would be a good place for you know charging your phones, things like that, or maybe even putting a small coffee pot or something. There's an electric outlet there, USB charger ports there as well, and some overhead cabinet space. There's a turbo exhaust fan up there in the ceiling as well, which does have a wall thermostat control and rain sensor on it. On this side of the island, you have four drawers. Then you're going to also have some storage space down below and a trash can down there as well. Again, guys, don't forget to like, share, subscribe if you're interested in keeping up with more of these new RV videos. I try to update them two or three times a week to give you some information on all the new stuff that we've got coming in and out of here. Uh, down below there, dustpan vac and central vac hose hookup right there built into the step area. Decent grab handle there to help you get up and down the steps. And back in behind here is where some of the brains are behind the RV. You can kind of see down here some of the Wi-Fi stuff. Things like that are all built in right here. Solar charger stuff up here. This one was ordered with the solar panel and stuff on the roof. You'll see when we get out there. And then the LCI one control stuff here. So right now we were on the slides there where we opened that up. But you control your HVAC system here, your generator. If this one has it, it'll start and stop right here. Um, you have your auto level, your monitor panels, your slides, awnings, all that type of stuff is located right here. And this one does actually have the generator. You'll see that when we get out there. And another thing that people always ask about, because you can control some of this stuff with your phone as well through an app. And this is where that information will be. You scan it uh, once you download the app with your Q code here, kind of go through that. That is what all that is to work the RV. Bathroom area here. It's a decent sized bathroom. There's room to get in and out of the shower and get dressed. It's not as big as some of their larger models, but uh, definitely does well for a unit this size. Some space down below there, good size sink area. You have an actual wood medicine cabinet here, which is nice. It's nice and wide. It's not the little cheaper narrow versions. Um, another turbo exhaust fan up top, skylight above the shower, and a pretty good amount of closet space over here for towels and washcloths and stuff. Porcelain foot flush toilet sliding pocket door as well so it's a little easier to get in and out of here little sit down seat and they do have some coat hooks back on the wall as well now in here is going to be the master bedroom area on the wall over here we have a couple coat hooks this one was ordered with the queen bed instead of king. So when you do the queen, you get about five or six inches of extra space on each side of the bed for walkway area and stuff. So you do get a little more floor space here. Electric outlet on both sides of the bed along with USB charger ports. Little nightstands as well. And they also have windows on each side of the bed that do open. And they have little pull down shades on there as well. Now the bed does also raise up, so you will have your storage under there and you see the little uh, chairs there, the folding chairs. Four drawer dresser there, full extending ball bearing drawer guides. 32 inch flat screen TV. The optional electric wall heater there, which is kind of nice if you go to a lot of places that include electric in your site. You, know, you can use that instead of having to use your propane as much. 
This thing has a huge closet. I love Cedar Creek's new closet setup here. Basically a walk-in closet. It's flat floor down here on this section when you first step in, but then there's a little step up once you get in. But it massive closet area here. This closet rod goes all the way across, so you got almost an eight foot long closet bar here. That is the uh, King Wi-Fi setup you're seeing on the wall there. Little shelf areas. Same thing over here. Now, the unit is prepped for washer-dryer setup. And if you do a washer-dryer in here, it does not stack. It sits side by side. But what actually happens is this section right here comes out. It's basically got like four or five screws in it that hold that section in place. But it's removable. So that little shelf area slides out and the washer-dryer sits on that ledge and slides back in there. So it's a pretty nice setup. It doesn't take up as much closet space. It'll actually kind of recess back into that front fiberglass cap. And a lot of shelf space up here as well. There's lights in there. Now when you do the King satellite system, it also comes with the uh, little box here. Again, guys, don't forget to check out CouchesRVNation.com. They're one of the largest internet wholesale dealers in the country. They're actually the largest Cedar Creek dealer in the country as well. I'll definitely save you guys a ton of money on a new RV if you're interested. We're going to head outside now, show you around the outside of the RV, then we're going to come back in and close it all up. All right, guys, we're now back on the outside of this beautiful Cedar Creek Silverback fifth wheel. This is, again, the 31IK, and we are going to start here on the door side, work our way around, and then we'll head back in and show you what it's closed up looking like. And basically, you can see here the Midnight Mist optional paint job. Beautiful setup here for an exterior paint job on the RV. Some silvers and blacks and stuff mixed in, and really sharp, high-end paint job on the outside of the unit another thing I really like on the paint optional feature they even paint the roof line up there so you can see that the part of the material that rolls over the edging is actually painted black up there as well where some brands just leave that as a white roof material power awning standard on the unit has adjustable arms for tilting and water runoff Windows on the unit are also deep tent safety glass windows, and they have the option for dual panes if you choose to do that. On the front corner here, you can see the running light. That is also a side camera. Nice optional feature. This customer chose to do the four camera security prep system. So you have a camera on each side looking down the side of the RV so you can see while driving down the road. There's another one above the light there on the entry door section. And then there's one on the back so you can see behind you driving down the road. So really nice feature. Comes with a wireless monitor that you put in the truck with you. And uh, just overall pretty cool safety setup. Behind this door here is two 30-pound propane tanks. And also below you can see a gas line hook up there for a portable grill if you wanted to do some sort of portable grill outside. A couple outdoor speakers. The baggage door here flips up and it's got a couple magnetic uh, holders there to hold it in place. Now there's also a pull out outside little kitchen area. We're going to open that up. We're going to come back to that but very cool feature on that setup. The better more ride step here has a little welcome sign written into it, a little backlit lighting back there for step light for nighttime. Now this one is also upgraded with the shock assist. So it's super light, a small child could raise that up and close it into the RV. Large folding entry handle. You can see a porch light up there as well. So you have a porch light plus the LED light strip. Now this customer also chose to order the second awning. Pretty cool little awning setup. So it has a wind sensor on it. Um, has an LED light strip built into the tube out there. I had to leave the slide out closed because there's not enough room in here to open this with 
the slide open in the garage here. So I wanted to show you what it at least looked like. So I left the slide closed. We'll open that back up when we go back in. And again, aluminum frame, or sorry, aluminum wheels. We'll get to the tire sizes and stuff like that when we get over there on that side of things. Dexter, never adjust brakes. Dexter, easy flex suspension system as well. 6-point automatic hydraulic leveling jack system. You can see the auto level jack there. There's obviously the two in the front main landing gear, two in the middle, and then two behind the rear axle. Now this customer also chose to put slide out awning toppers on the slide out as well. And when the slides are in out mode, they cover the tops of the rooms just to help keep them from getting water on them, leaves, twigs, debris, that type of stuff. Um, so another nice feature there that can be ordered on the unit if you like those. Now on the back of the unit, there is a two inch hitch receiver you see down here. Now that is basically used for like luggage racks and bike rack kind of thing. It is not a hitch to tow a boat with. Good size ladder going up the RV to the roof. And you can see up here on the roof, this one was also again ordered with a couple more options up here. You can see the solar panel system up here on the roof, nice feature. And you can also see the King satellite system, the dome satellite there. That again is another nice optional feature. If you're gonna be more of a full timer or extended stay type of person, definitely a nice feature to have. The bottom of the unit is also fully enclosed, sectionalized underbelly setup down here, so it's easier to work on. You can also see the spare tire mounted down there. Just in front of the jack is the freshwater tank low point water drain. Up top here, you can also see the uh, stove exhaust area right there where you open that up. Furnace exhaust out right here. Power cord plugs in right here. Detachable power cord, 50 amp service. 10 gallon gas electric water heater, standard on the unit. Inside of here, you can see your little docking station area. You have your battery disconnect, hydraulic on off switches, gray, galley, and black handles are right here. So you can pull them from right here. You don't have to crawl under the coach to get to them. Black tank flush, winterizing bypasses, outside shower, all done right here. The front cap light switch is also in here. And again, uh, battery disconnect right there. Power cord roll up reel here as well. Another nice little feature here are thicker, heavier duty baggage doors. So they're not real thin compared to ultralight style RVs. So nice big thick baggage door, slam lock. And I like the fact that it's a swing door so when the slide out is out, you don't have to worry about the door possibly getting caught in the slide out when you go to close it. Step back here a little bit so you can see better down this side. Now in the front door right there, that is your little battery slash hydraulic pump reservoir compartment right there. You can fit up to three batteries in there if you want to. And just to the left of that door is going to be some weight stickers and some VIN stickers and stuff. So you're going to have your gross vehicle hitch weight there. You're going to also have your axle size and tire sizes pop up here. And your unloaded vehicle weight as well. Now in this front storage compartment, this customer again chose to order another cool little option. This is the Onan 5500 watt propane generator. So if you don't do that option, that's just a real big storage compartment. But he chose to do the generator for more off the grid camping and stuff. But overall, a very, very nice looking higher end style of unit here on the exterior features and the options and stuff that he did and really really beautiful paint job 
Now we're going to go inside, kind of show you what everything looks like closed as well. So you can check that out, see what you think. All right, guys, we're now back inside this new RV and we're gonna close it up, show you what that all looks like. Um, this again is a hydraulic slide system. So you're going to have uh, one button inside that controls everything, but you have on off switches outside so you can shut them down if you want. But everything is controlled again right here. So you just come in, get to your slide setup. Now on a hydraulic slide system, when you start to bring the room in, what actually happens is the lightest room, the path of least resistance usually moves first. So that normally is the bedroom and you can see it just scoots right on in. Now I can stop and let off the button if I want to, which that's what we're doing here. Spin back around so you can see this side and hit the button again and we start to bring in the living room kitchen area so pretty simple setup another nice thing i liked about the paint job i forgot to mention earlier was they actually paint the sides of the slides as well and you can see the sides of the slides are a nice silver color when it is the midnight mist. But when you come in here, you can get to the fridge. So if you're traveling down the road, need to come in, get something out of the refrigerator, you can do so. Now this part of the RV obviously is pretty tight because of the island right here. But if you need to, you can bump the room out, just shut two of the rooms off if you want from outside and basically just move the room that you want to move. So a pretty simple little setup. And to come in and use the bathroom, again, totally functional. So you can come right on in, use your bathroom area if you want, no obstructions there. You come right on into your bedroom and you have room to get in here and you can lay down, take a nap, do whatever, you know, nice, easy to do. And same thing when you go back out and you're running the rooms out. That bedroom's gonna move first, and then you're downstairs. So all we do, just hit the out button. Things start to move, and that bed starts going back out. And you'll get a little pressure relief uh, on the uh, slides down here as well. Again, guys, don't forget to check out Couches RV Nation. We are going to walk back outside here real quick and show you this little outdoor kitchen that we did not do earlier. This is an option, so you don't have to get this, but this is a pretty cool little setup here. Um, basically, this is a big slide-out tray with a big flat-screen TV built in it on a swing-arm little party tray area here. So on the end of it here, you have a little griddle. Prep area here. Big flat screen TV. Now this again is on a swing arm, so you can maneuver this around. But it'll go back and latch into place there. And what actually happens here on the back of it, there's a light switch, because there is a little LED light system built into that. And then you have an up and down TV lift. So you just lower the TV down if you don't want to use it. There is also an electric outlet back here, so you do have electric out here as well. Got your mini fridge feature, and all of this is on a slide tray. So that just slides right back in there. You can see the central vac, electric outlet there as well, some lights and stuff in here. And this part right here actually raises up, has a little latch to hold it there, but you have a little bit of storage space there. But pretty cool little setup, guys. Thanks for checking out the video.